is Nick Lynch back for another video for this evening. Before I just go back to work. This is Minio. Or Minio. Or Minio is the right pronunciation, I think. It's a Debian produced uh, distro from Spain, actually. Spania. Okay. And it's meant for really old hardware from about 10 years ago. Okay. That's what they base it on. But you can run it on the hardware you want to, really. But if it's 10 years old, it will run on it. Okay. And I think the basis for this is just to keep uh, old hardware running in schools. If you work in a school over the European Union or in the US or wherever else, you will know that people just chuck hardware out when it doesn't work for them. Say it's on Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. Well, this is one of those distros that says, well, hang on a minute. Let's just put this in and get it working for another couple of years. Get the kids learning because it has all the features of everything else. So that's pretty good. I thought so. Also, when you first boot it up, you will notice some cat meows and... Yeah, I, I don't know what it's got to do with the name, but hey, someone will tell me, obviously, in the description, eventually. Right, I've got it installed. I originally uh, installed the 64-bit version, but I couldn't get the right screen resolution, so I've gone back to the 32-bit version, and it seems okay, Yeah, as you can see here on the screen. Okay, what do you want to do first? If you go over to the left side of your bar, you can see your personal folder. Network. Trash. What's that one now? That's Osmo. So, blimey. Oh, it's using LXDE, by the way, by its default. You get a calculator and LibreOffice. So, we're going to open that. Go on, open. Yeah. There we go. LibreOffice 5. It opens. Super fine. Oh, and I've purposely restricted this to two cores only and restricted the cores to 80%. Okay. Because I know you're, some of you are moaning and saying, oh, Sneaky, you've got a 5960X. It's not fair. Well, so I thought I'd even the, the ball game out, basically, for some of you. Okay. So as you can see, it's having trouble opening. Hmm. Oh, it shouldn't do, really, should it? Or so that's just a problem on the program itself. Hmm. Because it's not open at all, is it? No. That's not very good. So we'll go back to, ooh, where should we go? Office. We we'll go to LibreOffice Writer. We'll open it again. Will it? Will it open? Yes. So that's obviously a problem with the bar itself. Okay. A little bit nice and quick for you. We're only using two cores, by the way. I'm going to prove that to you. Okay. So what we're going to do? We we'll close that down. And we're going to go to System Tools and HTOP. Okay. So HTOP's here. We're using 125 megabytes of them. 129. What I'm going to do? I'm going to lock that down. Okay. So we're going to layer that to always on top. So whatever we do, you can see what resources it's using. Because you want that. Because this is for old machines. And I'll pick two cores basically because that's the best way to go. Okay. All right. So I have to give it two gig of memory. Okay. Swaps two gig. And it should not be using any of them. So let's do some stuff. Okay. What have we got? Now, originally I thought it was for education, but obviously this one that I chose was a bit different, okay? But under accessories you get backups of things, calculator, catfish, discs. Should I open that? Yeah, let's have a look. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it is actually discs. I wasn't expecting that, that's okay. So you can burn your ISOs and stuff, or do stuff for your Raspberry Pis. Nice. Okay, next. We'll go under there, okay. Font viewer, GP rename, midnight, no, not midnight, midnight, no, no, midnight commander is still here, it's still alive, I thought he died, blimey, okay, next, back to the menu, I don't hate going back to the menu every time, it's a pain, you also get plumer, restore your backup, and xpad for jot down notes, basically, it's a note taking thing, and education, I thought I was going to get a bit more than that, okay. We get LibreOffice Math and Squeak. Now these two, Scratch and Squeak, I installed because it comes with Scratch. Now I was hoping we'd get Scratch 2, as in the last one. But it's only Scratch 1, okay. Only Scratch 1. So I'll make it a little bit bigger for us. So we can see what we're doing. Well, I'll try to anyway. I will apologise now, I've just got a new mouse. It's an old gaming mouse that I found in my cupboard. And it's really, really sensitive. So I'm just getting used to it. Okay, Scratch is open. We're still only using 145 mega RAM. I know it's only a Scratch one, but it's usable. No problem whatsoever. So close that. 
So what else have we got? You cry. Under games. I installed mine test. Okay, it works fine. I'm not going to use it here because I've got more things to do. Under graphics. Uh, now this is where we get some more stuff. Image magic. GNU paint. Photox. Got for scene. Lovely. LibreOffice Draw. It comes with the suite, doesn't it really? Screenshot. Simple scan. So you can attach your printers and your scanners. No problem whatsoever. Under internet. You get Firefox as your default here. Okay. And this is the ESR version. Hmm. So I'll wait for it to come up. Because I'm using two cores. Remember, it's two core machine now. Okay. I'm going to go to YouTube. So I'll type in YouTube. Oh, I don't have to because it's already there. I'm going to see how much memory usage and CPU usage it actually uses. So we'll click there. You can change it from DuckDuckGo, by the way, to whatever one you want to. So I can't use any of these, can I? Let's, let's really be honest. I'll have to go to my own again. So there I am. I'm just pick one of my videos and see what the CPU usage and the memory usage is like. So we go, we're going to scroll down to the update. That's really old, isn't it? Uh, oh, that one I do. Okay, let's get through. That's quite a current one. That's in 1080p 60. And yes, we still get the adverts. I oh, know. I can get rid of them now. Thank you. As you can see, that comes up quite nice, doesn't it? Now, at that dual core, it's using quite a lot, isn't it? I won't be using it. 720 60. Ooh, that's quite tight, isn't it, really? But if it's an old machine, 10 years old, that's really, really good. It's only 417 a man. Mmm, nice. Let's see what it does. We get up to 1080. Let's have a look. Remember, this is at 60 frames a second. This will remember. Right. Okay. It's not too bad there, really, is it? So let's just go to full screen. More. Well, Half screen. Right. Now it's stressing it quite a bit there, isn't it? But this is an old action video. That would be quite hot, wouldn't it, really? We'll close it down. Okay. Oh. As you can see, everything's gone back to sleep. We're back to 136 megabytes of RAM. Nice. But under programming, as I said before, you get scratch and squeak. Asunder, a standard, audacious, gnome alpha mixer. Record my desktop is here. I'm just going to bring it up for you. It should do all your stuff you really want to do, even on an old machine. That's good. What else? Hmm, not much really. But the, the size of the ISO is only one gig. It's Debian based for old machines. 32 bit is fine. I tried the 64. It didn't work very well. Hmm, maybe they get better. But hey, what do you do? I like it. Sneaky looks out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.